Hey, so this is about a week later. Um, the source for the part um, has let me know that they have not got their batch of these CDIs in yet. Uh, they're expecting this coming week. So, figuring I have nothing to lose. Um, the fact that I did a little bit of soldering and board repair in my <laughs> Navy past and whatever. Anyway, so I took the CDI... And this was not epoxy. This is more like uh, what's called an RO compound. It's um, easy to dig out. Uh, you got to be careful. If you want to get in here and try to fix this sort of thing, then you need to use um, uh, an orange wood stick um, or skewers, wooden skewers. You don't want to use anything metal. In here because you can damage this stuff. This board is made up of uh, surface mount devices. They're very small. Um, you can see the SCR. I clipped that out because I actually found a replacement for it and I was going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and tack solder that into uh, where it goes. But in the process of doing that I noticed over here you can see just a little bit of copper there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to focus in on it. I'm just going to keep going. So you see where that copper is. There's a marker also that says Q2. You're not supposed to see that copper. It's supposed to look like the black component right here. Or perhaps the one right here. It's uh, actually like a um, surface mount transistor. It's got a base collector and emitter on it. Anyway, um, that was obviously one of the components that was damaged when it took a hit um, and unfortunately none of those surface mount devices have numbers on them so I can't uh, I mean I can try to guess whatever but um, I'm, it's not going to be very easy for me to go ahead and find out which component uh, I need there's literally you know hundreds of that that type of device so uh, that's not going to work so the seller did contact me said they expect their shipment in this coming week, and uh, I will wait patiently and see if that happens. In the meantime, this this uh, CDI is is done. Um, if you do want to take this stuff apart or get into here, I, I mentioned the tools already, and I took the top section out. And I cleaned that that out, finishing it off with a like an acid brush that I trimmed the bristles back on to make it a little more stiff, just to help uh, clean that stuff out but it's injected underneath the board as well so if you if you need to lift this board out more of that compound I'm talking about fills the underside of the module so it may be worth your while um, if you want there there is a screw you can see the screw hole right there that mounts the board so that board does not sit flush in the bottom of this coffin it is to carefully prior to taking anything out of here because uh, the material will provide you know vibration uh, protection and whatever is to carefully take the bottom of this box off remove the compound uh, from the underside of the board here then remove the compound from the top side of the board and you should be able to lift this board out um, replace the the bottom again and uh, you know, kind of glue that in place. And if you can change out the failed component, if you can find it, you can change that failed component out, put this back in, perhaps you know, pot it back in here with, with RTV, unless you can get your hands on RO compound or another insulating compound that you can put in there that can be removed if, if necessary. So, yeah, I was kind of bummed about that, but there's not much I can do about it. And uh, that, uh, I actually looked for the top of that component in the uh, pieces of rubber-like material I pulled out, and uh, I couldn't find it. I'm, I'm sure it's in there, but there's so many, I mean, just literally thousands of pieces of stuff as I clean this stuff out. So, obviously, when, that, uh, when the SER got hit, uh, that component was, was damaged as well, because the tops just don't come off so there you are um dead dead donkeys <laughs>